You asked for more exotic combos, so in this video I'll go over combos that utilize two exotics and completely change how you use them. You can snipe people with shotguns, spam abilities every two seconds, and never die. I'm Marshix and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy the video, please take a second to hit like down below, and comment if you've used any of these combos before or plan to in the future. You can snipe people with chaperone, and I'm not even exaggerating. Precision kills increase handling, range, and precision damage for a short time. This alone can secure kills from very far away, but we can optimize it much further. Throw on Luna Faction boots to further increase range while in an empowering rift. This takes it to 25 meters. Shotgun, by the way. And with a damage buff like Bubble, you can even one-shot body shot people from up to 22 meters away. You can get some crazy kills that no one will be expecting, and it's a fun build in PvE too. Chaperone isn't normally thought of as a PvE weapon, but slug shotguns have always been solid, and you almost always have the Roadborne perk active. Pros and cons to this combo. Pros, you shoot people from far away and win the game. Cons, you will get hate mail and be accused of cheating. The next combo allows for high burst damage using Prospector. This arc grenade launcher shoots very fast and the grenades will stick to any surface you shoot for as long as you hold down the trigger. The armor piece we're using is Mask of Bacchus. This will increase your arc damage by 10% after dodging, and this buff will stack with other damage buffs. This lasts for 10 seconds, so you'll be able to shoot a full magazine, dodge before they explode to get that damage buff, reload, and shoot another magazine before the buff goes away. And you can skip the reloading section of that simply by using Marksman Dodge. The other buffs that will pair with this are High Energy Fire and Font of Might, resulting in 65% more damage. If you have a fire team, you can also use a bubble to raise this to 85% more. This combo will destroy champions in seconds and absolutely melt bosses. Did you know you can fly almost indefinitely? With Lion Rampants, Catapult Lift, and a sword, you can jump, fall, swing your sword, then jump again to regain your height. If you do this properly, you can literally fly for as long as you have ammo. The key is to activate jump and immediately deactivate it once you hit the peak. Then fall just a few feet so you don't gain too much downward momentum, then swing your sword. But wait, there's more. The exotic we're pairing with this is the Lament. This will give you a lot more horizontal movement per swing, allowing you to fly longer distances for less ammo. This can even be used to get free raid loot completely solo in a couple of raids. Another fun thing to use is Eager Edge. This will send you flying even farther than Lament, but this is already getting changed in Witch Queen, so don't get too excited. You like infinite wall hacks that won't get you banned? Wish Ender lets you see enemies through walls when you pull back your arrow. This usually only works for a short time, but with Oath Keepers, this never goes away. Oath Keeper says you can hold your bow charges indefinitely, which also keeps the perk active for Wish Ender. You can know exactly where everyone is at all times. Just wait for someone to push you, then release your arrow and punch. You barely even have to aim. I can't imagine anything more toxic than a full team of these in Trials. This will even be useful next season in Nightfalls, since bows will have anti-barrier, and it's always nice to know if there are any snipers hiding behind cover. Bottom Tree Dawnblade creates some massive explosions after burning enemies, so we're going to double down on that with Dawn Chorus. This will enhance the Dawnblade super and more importantly increase the duration of all burn effects, and give melee energy for each tick of burn damage. The melee is OP by the way, so don't underestimate it. There is one weapon in the game that can cause burn damage, and that is Polaris Lance. After getting 4 headshots, the 5th shot will create an explosion that burns enemies. Enemies affected by this burn will also give you melee energy and cause them to explode on death. The Player's Lance Catalyst also gives it Firefly to create even more explosions. And you know what else causes burn? Burning Cells. This mod will cause Warmind Cells to burn enemies. Those will also be affected by Dawn Chorus and the Bottom Tree Explosions. Adding Global Reach for a larger radius, Wrath of Rasputin to create Warmind Cells from all explosions, including Polaris Lance, and Rage of the Warmind to give them more damage and let them chain back to back. So many explosions. Anyone else hyped for Solar 3.0 because this is exactly what it'll look like. Another combo that utilizes burning is Phoenix Cradle and Polaris Lance. Polaris Lance once again causes enemies to burn from the perfect fifth shot, and if they die while burning, they will spawn sunspots. You can usually only spawn them using abilities, but this completely changes that. Did you already waste all your abilities? Just burn someone with Polaris Lance, spawn a sunspot, and you don't even need them. Phoenix Cradle also takes advantage of Sunspots by doubling the duration of the Sun Warrior effect given by Sunspots. This will give you faster grenades and melees, and increase your weapon damage by 20%. If you don't have this active at all times, you're doing something wrong. And don't forget about Burning Cells. Hunters can also use Bombardiers to burn enemies. 
When using a solar subclass, the explosions will burn everything nearby. While using middle tree, you will also get your dodge back very quickly when enemies are burning. With bombardiers, all you have to do is dodge by an enemy, wait 2 seconds, and you'll get it back. This is basically infinite dodges, and unlike Radiant Dance Machines, this does work with things like Dynamo, Bomber, Distribution, and Outreach. You'll be able to spam dodges and get other abilities back much faster. Between Bombardiers, Throwing Knives, Grenades, and Polaris Lance, even if you waste your dodge, you'll be able to have another one whenever you feel like it. Did you know that you can shoot 9 rockets back to back without reloading? Truth can hold 3 rockets at a time, and with double reserve perks, you can hold a total of 9. Pair this with 6 Coyote for 2 Marksman dodges, and you'll be able to fire 3 rockets, dodge, fire 3 more, dodge again, and finish off the reserves. That's 9 rockets back to back without an actual reload, and it only took about 15 seconds. This is also great with Argent Ordnance. 3 of these will give you a 35% damage bonus using Charge with Light Stacks, and you'll be able to fire multiple rockets before the buff is consumed. You can get that buff for almost every rocket. If you don't feel like using Truth, you can also replace it with 4th Horseman to empty all its rounds in the blink of an eye. Chromatic Fire gives all your kinetic weapons Dragonfly, but one exotic weapon really stands out from the others. Forerunner is the only sidearm that takes special ammo. The explosions caused by Chromatic Fire scale based on the damage of the weapon you're using. Being that Forerunner does take special ammo, it inherently does more damage than other sidearms, which makes it perfect for creating tons of powerful explosions. This is already a great ad clearing weapon, but with Chromatic Fire, it's on another level. Another great weapon for this is Ace of Spades. This has Firefly, which will cause another explosion on top of the Chromatic Fire explosion. Double explosions per kill. And with Memento Mori active, both the gun and the explosion damage will increase after kills. This next combo lets you clear hordes of enemies with only a melee. But if you are enjoying this video, please help me out by leaving a like down below. And if you leave a nice comment, I'll heart it. Dune Marchers can be used to build up Static Charge, then use that to give your melees Chain Lightning. But did you know that you can use this with Throwing Hammer to get a Solar and Arc Chaining melee whenever you want? Picking up the Throwing Hammer will give it back to you. Then you just have to build up Static Charge again. This lets you get a lot of kills with your hammer, and since you are dealing arc damage, it pairs nicely with Trinity Ghoul. With the Catalyst, this bow will chain lightning to enemies after getting any arc kill. This does include itself. This means you can throw your hammer, proc lightning rod, then finish off everything else. This is one of the best combos for ad clear, since you'll constantly be dealing damage to everything with both of your exotics. This combo makes it so you never die. Karnstein Armlets will heal you after melee kills, and continuously heal you for a few seconds after that. And unlike normal healing, you will still regenerate health while taking damage. We're pairing this with Crimson to have even more healing after precision kills, but it gets even better. If you do start to lose health, we have Protective Light to give you damage resistance after your shields break. And we can't forget Devour. Devour will allow us to heal after any kill, and give ability energy from those kills. And this is only getting better with Void 3.0. This combo will turn you near invincible in most activities, and definitely something you need to try in Witch Queen. Speaking of Witch Queen, this combo will be crazy next season. Necrotic Grips and Thorn work together to proc the spreading poison, and next season we're getting another exotic that should do the same. Replace Thorn with a new Osteostriga SMG, and you'll get the spreading corruption from Necrotic Grips too. This is just speculation right now, but as you can see in this trailer, the Osteostriga does apply a poison effect on enemies, just like the Thorn does, and as long as they do have that effect, the Necrotic Grips perk will proc. Anything affected by the poison will spread it to other enemies and clear out rooms by itself. This is definitely a weapon you want to get next season, just like these other amazing weapons. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.